the universe is alive with sound. It's not the kind of sound we hear with our ears, but a symphony of energy, frequency and vibration. At the heart of this cosmic orchestra are black holes, enigmatic objects with gravitational pulls so strong that not even light can escape them. These cosmic conductors hold secrets to the universe's grand composition. Imagine them as cosmic broadcasters, transmitting a constant stream of information from the singularity at their core. This singularity, a point of infinite density, is where the laws of physics as we know them break down. It's a place of immense energy and potential, constantly emitting a cacophony of quantum information. But how do we, as observers bound by space and time, receive this cosmic broadcast? How do we tap into the music of the cosmos? Our brains, in a sense, are like finely tuned radios, capable of receiving specific frequencies from the universe's symphony. Within our neurons, tiny structures called microtubules act as quantum receivers. These microtubules are composed of protein structures that vibrate and resonate at specific frequencies. Imagine them as miniature Tesla coils, capable of picking up on the subtle electromagnetic signals emanating from the quantum realm. Quantum information holography, QIH, is a theory that suggests that the universe stores information in a holographic manner, similar to how a hologram encodes a three-dimensional image on a two-dimensional surface. QIH proposes that black holes, with their immense gravitational pull, act as cosmic hard drives, storing vast amounts of information within their event horizons. This information is constantly being processed and emitted as quantum fluctuations, much like a radio station broadcasting signals. Our brains, with their intricate networks of microtubules, have the potential to decode and interpret these signals. Just as a radio receiver needs to be tuned to a specific frequency to pick up a particular station, our brains need to achieve a state of quantum coherence to receive the cosmic broadcast. Think of Fourier transformation, a mathematical tool that breaks down complex signals into their individual frequencies. Our brains perform a similar process, filtering and interpreting the constant influx of quantum information from the universe. Microtubules in this context play a crucial role in achieving quantum coherence. When these structures vibrate in unison, they create a resonant frequency that allows them to interact with the quantum vacuum, the underlying fabric of space-time that is teeming with virtual particles and quantum fluctuations. This interaction enables us to tap into the universe's information field and perceive reality as we know it. Imagine reality as a vast television set with an infinite number of channels. Each channel represents a different possibility, a different outcome. Our consciousness, through the process of observation and measurement, acts as a remote control, selecting a specific channel and collapsing the wave function of possibilities into a single observable reality. The singularity at the heart of a black hole, the event horizon that surrounds it, and the hawking radiation that escapes its grasp, all have parallels within our own consciousness. The singularity represents the infinite potential of our minds. The event horizon represents the boundary between our conscious and subconscious thoughts, and the thoughts that emerge from our minds are analogous to hawking radiation. We are, in essence, miniature universes unto ourselves, intricately connected to the grand cosmic symphony 